Hey folks, uh, Roman is back for another video. It's been for a while since I never tied a jig. So today I want to tie you guys a new crappy jig. And this color is a killer color. So let's go tie this jig here, guys. It's really simple. As long as you have the materials, you'll be all right. So here in my camera, I have here this new material. Um, I bought it. I think I showed you guys the package that I bought uh, a couple weeks ago. And let's give it a try, guys. Um, this is color really simple, but really effective. So let's go tie these jigs for you guys. And thank you for the support and all the likes and all the comments. All right. Thank you so much. I appreciate all your support, guys. So let's go tie this jig here, guys. If you can see here in my vice box, I have a 116. This is a mino head. This is black and red. Good color. Okay. Black and red, you cannot go wrong. Throw in this color and um, catch a lot of crappies. Okay, this is size four. This is Mustang circle hook here. Really a strong hook here, folks. So let's go put some glue in there, folks, and let's go um, keep going with this uh, crappy jig here, guys. All right, put just a little bit of glue into the hook shin so we can start our thread. And for this, I want to use two tendon denier. In this case, it's going to be a hot pink color. So I start behind the, the head there and go back to the hook point. Okay. New materials here, folks. All right. Let's cut this off here. All right. There you go. Now, I want to use a three pieces uh, tip of the hackle. In this case, it's going to be this a black and red neck hackle. This is a strong color. Look at this color here, folks. This is what I want to use. I want to use two tips. All right. So I had two tips already here ready to go. So I want to tie the first one on top of the hook shank here, folks. Okay. Tie them up and just go back to the hook point a little bit. All the way, all the way, all the way back. And right there. Okay. And then just come back again. So here is one piece. Okay, and I want to throw the second tip of the hackle here, so that should be two pieces all together. All right, let's go put them up and just tie them up and just go back again all the way to the hook point. All right, and then just come back again behind the head. So you have two pieces here, folks. All right, two pieces. To match the body, I like to match my own uh, jig skin, folks, okay? To match that little bit that she needed, I want to use, I want to use one tip, just one tip that um, a strong rooster sendo hackles here. You see here in the camera here, folks, shot gray and white, okay? That's what I want to use. I want to use just one piece. One tip of the hack or two. Yes, one piece, all right? So I have it here. You can see down there in the camera. So what this is going to do is going to match a little bit the body of that chenille that I want to use for this specific jig here. Okay. There you go. So you have two tips, the black and red, and you have one tip, a gray uh, ghost uh, color here. Okay, so you have three tips, the tip of the hackle there. And to give a nice little tail, little more, a little bit more profile here in this space here, I want to use some of those fibers that I took here in this uh, hackle here. You see that? So I want to use just a little bit, a couple fibers off there I have here in my hand. Just to keep that jig, yes, a little bit more uh, really nice profile. So what I did is I cut some of it already. Just put some of it on top of the hook shin. Make sure you sure you tie this good. Really tight. You see that head moving up and down? That means that I'm tying that really super tight. Okay. You see that head there? The tail, so it's gonna keep that jig a different profile, and it's gonna keep a little bit different color in the bottle here, plus the red and the black there. 
it matches the head okay now I want to use this uh, flashable I love to use this because this flashable here um, I don't know is this me or I don't know because I've been long with this color but for me this color here guys it works well and on pretty much in all my jigs I like to tie this especially when I uh, doing a clear water this will work fantastic moves in the water really nice it's flashing a lot so i got uh, three pieces here ready to tie them up so what i do is just put this on top of the hook shank folks here just wrap them up and just bring those pieces back and i want that flashable to be in the bottom of that jig okay that's it so what do you do now you want to do is Cut some of it short, some of our long ones. So when this material gets wet, it keeps a nice profile into the tail. Look at that flash of that jig there. All right. Now you can put some glue into the body here, folks. Okay. Put some glue into the body there so you can, uh, uh, the, 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 the um, chenille, we can, it stick really well into the glue. Now for the chenille, I want to use this new material here. This is a, a bleeding shot um, size four large. Uh, you can find this in www.minrustaco.com. You can see here in the bottle here, and I really like that because kind of match the tail and have red sparkles. Man, look at this. A lot of sparkle here, red, little like bleeding stuff. So that's what I want to use here for this jig here. I want to take some fibers off here, folks. Just a couple fibers here. As long as you see the thread there, ready to go. So I want to bring this here and tie this over here. Make a nice tie wrap. Bring your thread back, all the way back to the hook point there. And then just bring your thread back again, all the way behind the head. I want to use my rod ties bias here, folks. And I think this guy is going to kill a lot of crappies, folks. That's it. Make it just one more wrap. Another wrap here. Okay. There you go. And just make a cross here. Two wraps, another cross here. To wrap, just be careful, move your thread away, guys, and just cut this off. Just clean the head just a little bit here, okay? And that's it, guys, okay? Grab your wet finish here, folks, and finish this guy, man. One, two, three, four, five. And the reason I use this thread, too, because it's going to give it a nice color, and to this neck, you can see there, I have a nice, I miss a little hair here, yes. There you go. Look at this guy, you guys. I think it really looks really cool like that. Really like that, especially with that head. So what do you do here? Just put some glue and throw the thread here. Just rotate your bias. And let this guy dry a little bit for 20 minutes, call the day off and go fishing, my friend. Go catch some crappies here with this little guy here. I really like that. Look at the color of the head, man. What do you guys think? Please, guys, the only thing I ask you for you guys, make a comment, uh, subscribe my channel, share the videos, and like the video. So next time you can get free jigs. Remember that. It's really important. You guys can... Uh, Support my channel. And I really appreciate all that support, guys. I really do. Uh, makes me good. Make me feel good that I uh, see all the comments. I see what you guys like. I see you guys. I like you guys' opinion, too. You know what I mean? So, yeah, look at this guy here, Fox. What do you guys think about this? Uh -huh. You guys can follow me on TikTok. I have a couple videos there. Um... I have videos there, trying my, my, my new jigs there, catching some crappies. I have a good videos there. You can follow me on TikTok. Okay. And um, yeah, guys, 
Thank you so much for all support. I really appreciate that. I really enjoyed reading my comments and see what you guys think. Um, I really do. I really do. I'm not going to be a uh, disappointment, but I really like that. I really appreciate you guys a lot. Uh, guys, thank you so much for watching. Make a comment. Share my videos. Like the video. Um, let, let, let me know what you guys think about this crappy year here. I think it looks pretty good. Um, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time very soon. Thank you.